What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon, and welcome to this uh, to this new video about uh, Stefi uh, or the FIS token FIS. I'm I'm not sure what I should really call this uh, this project, but I did have to cover it today because it has been uh, well massively bullish uh, from from the beginning of this uh, of this huge bull run, as you can see. At around 40 cents, we were in total up about 133 percent. Ever since we have dropped down quite a bit, uh, we reached around a dollar, which is obviously a strong psychological level. And since then, we've uh, we've not even held our, our level at uh, 85 cents. We've dropped down to this level between 75 and 79 cents. So I just wanted to make a video about what's going on. Why are we bullish like this? Is it deserved? And can we actually continue to go up to, for example, 1.1 and 1.15 dollars? Um, so let's get right into it. If you take a look at the volume, first of all, when I saw the volume, I thought, all right, this is manipulated. But it does seem that the volume is, is legit. It's mostly coming from Binance uh, and some other big exchanges. So it doesn't seem uh, like it's manipulated. Um, Stefi itself, though, it's, it's a, it's, um, a cross-chain staking platform. I believe that that's what it is. A decentralized and scalable cross-chain staking derivative protocol that unlocks the liquidity of your staked assets. So in other words, it's a liquid staking DeFi platform. And what they recently did is they recently got a, uh, a, a proposal in the balancer, which is a different decentralized application. In the balancer governance, uh, they got that. I think it's already it has already passed. And this basically uh, proposed the creation of a balance, balancer gauge for the RETH ETH pool on mainnet. Uh, and RETH is the uh, is, is the liquid staking proof given out by Stefi. All right, and they wanted to pool for that, obviously ahead of the or obviously uh, ahead of the Ethereum Shanghai network upgrade, uh, which would allow a lot of uh, a lot of people to unstake their Ethereum from uh, from the Ethereum network. And uh, and right now, a lot of those people have it uh, have have it stake have have a lot of uh, or at least these liquid staking uh, derivative platforms have a lot of locked up Ethereum, um, and they need liquidity, and therefore things like these are are good news. It's also just good news that they have. Um, I believe they're already on Curve Finance, so it's good to have uh, one of their pools as well on Balancer. That's bullish news, but apart from that, and I think it's important to uh, to really talk about this. Stefi has about uh, almost 40 million in staked value, but if you take a look at the unique users, uh, I believe this is in over the last. Uh, I don't think this is updated, all right, because it shows plus zero this week. Um, but altogether, it, it isn't that big of a platform yet, so I do think it's a little bit inflated in the price. Um, and with that, uh, just to uh, we've, we've talked enough about Stafi itself. We'll talk about the, the, the technicals now. With that, we should also take into consideration that in about an hour, probably even less after the uploading of this video, we'll have the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell have a speech. <clears throat> so while trading Fizz or while you're looking at it, in the next hour, you should also pay, pay close attention to Bitcoin because we're probably going to be uh, probably going to be correlated with that as well. Um, but I incorporated that into my analysis quite a bit. Right now, the, the main thing, the main level is this level between 75 and 80 cents. We've dropped down there. I think we're going to find some support there. We're already finding some support there. But if we actually want to get to 1.1, what we need to do is we need to hold that level and then at some point break above 88 cents again. If we can do that, I think we're going up to 1.1 and 1.15. I really think we can do that. I still think there's quite a lot of bullish momentum in that whole uh, liquid staking and uh, Shanghai net, uh, Shanghai upgrades from Ethereum narrative um, going on. So I still think we can actually get some more bullish momentum, but we do need to hold 75 cents and 80 cents. Uh, and get that bullish breakout above 88 cents after like two days of holding it. Uh, because if we're, if, if we're not able to do that, and if we're just holding 75 cents, at some point we're not going to be able to hold it anymore. And if 75 cents breaks as a support, uh, we'll drop down to this level here at 65 cents. And I'm sure we can hold that. And we can perhaps even start an uptrend from here. But reaching 1.1 and 1.15 again from there is, in my opinion, going to be very, very hard. So that's my take on Stafi and the FIS token for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.